there's always been someone that has some set of their own values or wisdom that wants to exalt itself up against God and would try to make it as though that what we believe is just ridiculous foolishness. And so there's this one person, I don't know who this guy is. For some reason, I, I've seen a couple of videos of him. I said, you know what? Let me just cover this. This particular person who does not believe in God, he takes these little shots and none of them, and I mean none of them that I can find, are coherent. They're intelligent. They're, they're just not very well thought out and put together. And here's one example that he uses where he's trying to say, uh, because I guess God does the most killing. That kind of nullifies what the Bible is saying. He says, "Who who's done the most killing? Well, then God has done the most killing. How many people are killed in the Bible? That's the topic of this talk, right? Well, let's have a look. He wiped out all but seven humans during the flood, killed countless tribes and cities. This is God doing this. Now, I don't know why he thinks that that, that really matters, uh, who has killed the most people, because I've got a shot for you, my friend. God has killed a whole lot more than you think. He even killed his own son, well, and he thinks that's a, that's a joke, but no. Uh, Jesus says, no one takes my life. I take my life. I lay it down and I take it back up. That was not, that was not something that was just God being so uh, mean-spirited, some sort of uh, evil father. No, that's not what was happening. This was a plan that was set out to satisfy God's wrath because of his love that no one else could pay this debt. God pays the debt for us. Think about that. Now, he misses the whole point because he's so interested in nullifying the Bible. He's so interested in proving that it's wrong and probably for some sort of maybe some sort of racial reason. I'm, I'm not sure. I think that's where he, where he kind of goes. But even still, God is not like, hey, he killed his own son. So that should tell you something about God. Right. right? He killed his own son. He killed around three million people, according to the Bible. This is the God of the Bible. So who's. The so now let's just be clear. Trying to say that he killed about three million people. Well, let me just help you out. You are far off. No, uh, God has killed more than three million. How do I know? God has killed everybody. Everyone that has died, God killed. He's the one that takes life. He's the one that gives life. As a matter of fact, since he wants to, maybe you ought to just read his Bible. The Bible tells us in 1 Samuel 2, 6, the Lord kills and makes alive. He brings down to Sheol and he raises up. So God is the one. If a person is born, if a person has life, that's God. If a person loses their life, it's God. No matter how it was done, if they died of old age, natural causes, if they were hit by a car, if they fell off of a roof, it doesn't matter. The method in the issue, the one that's ultimately behind it is God. And so let's just be honest. Of all of the 8 billion people that are on the planet today and the 6 or 7 billion people that's ever existed that, will, that have died and those that will die, that's God. And he might want to set up and take notice that when his life is taken, it's also going to be God. Who's doing all the killing in this Bible? Have you read the Bible? Do you know who's ordering all this bloodshed and murder and killing? And now he's trying to put a comparison up between is it God that's doing the killing or is it Satan doing the killing? And I'm, I imagine some other place he'll probably say that. Or is it evil men who are doing all the killing? No, the, ultimately, the person that is allowed to uh, do it isn't the person that's actually doing it. God is the one that's allowing or he's the one that's taking life. Again, he might want to take notice of that. If this ordering of bloodshed and murder and killing was to create a better world, look at the state of the world today. I don't think it worked, guys. Well, because so you're missing the point. The bloodshed and the killing was not to, to, to create a better world. And certainly not the bloodshed uh, of Jesus was not to create a better world. God is not interested in saving this world. Maybe he didn't know that. Read the Bible. It's pretty easy to understand. It's pretty obvious. God's plan is not to save this world. It's to save people out of this world. And it's pretty easy. Just simply place your faith in that bloodshed that Christ gave for us on the cross. Then you shall be saved and you will be in a new world with the father forever. That that's, that's, not, that's pretty easy to get. I really don't think it worked. If that was the ultimate goal was to kill all these people to make a better future. <sighs> Sorry, all knowing, all omnipotent didn't work out for you, did it? Well, see, it's because you don't get it. This guy is literally, literally a what's the word what's the word that comes to mind a fool a fool and, and i'm not being mean or ugly but he literally is a fool he didn't understand who is actually in control who's in charge by the way the bible says that the earth is the lord's and all that's contained in it the world and those who dwell in it is god but this person wants to put his logic his understanding uh up to the test well uh, you're going to fail. You, you wouldn't even you wouldn't even have to go up against God. You couldn't. It, your logic doesn't pass 
just the regular muster of some regular human being. Now, his plan did not fail. His plan worked out, worked out like a charm. Again, easy plan, easy for us to get, easy for us to take advantage of, but some people simply will not because they have their own set of wisdom. But then again, the Bible tells us clearly, clearly he says that this, someone like him, professing to be wise, they became fools. Well, this also includes you. You think that you are wise, but you are not, my friend. It didn't quite work out the way you want it. God killed around 3 million people, according to the Bible. And how many people did Satan kill? This a discretion between their interpretation of the of now, the actions between three and listen ten people as part of a bet. There was a wager between God and Satan about this, and uh, and and Satan won the wager. There was a bet, a wager between Satan and God. There was no wager. There was no bet. <laughs> so it makes you wonder what is he reading? How is he reading? Obviously, if he's actually reading, maybe he's thumbing through the pages of the Bible and he comes across a passage. And he puts some things together and he seems to say, well, yeah, they're, they're, this is a wager, this is a bet. No one, how do you come across thinking that what took place in Job was a wager or a bet? And in, in that bet, God lost. This is <laughs> foolishness. It just doesn't make any sense. Who's doing all this killing? Do you think it's the creator of the universe, the all-knowing, all-loving God that creates planets and universes, that transcends time and dimensions, that can create molecules and atoms and all this kind of stuff? Or... Are you finally wrapping your brain around the fact that it's most likely not that entity, but most likely someone or some people that masquerade? Well, and I, I, there's no need to even really listen to him e e any further. His eyes have been blinded. He is following the God of this world, his father. Though he wouldn't know it, he wouldn't accept that. But who would? Uh, to know, to come with full grip, face to face, that you have been deceived and you are trying to deceive others. But I can promise you this. The Bible's pretty clear on this part. That at some point in time, at the name of Jesus, you shall confess his name. You shall bow and you will, in adoration, you will confess his name. However, you will be forced to do so involuntarily. You're not going to do it because that was the life that you lived and that you understood that at that time when you were, when you should have, when you had the opportunity. You are going to confess. But the other thing in regards to who's taking lives, yeah, it is God. It's, it's him who takes lives. Uh, he's the one that kills. He's the one that causes you to die. And my friend, it's appointed unto man once to die, and then the judgment. You are going to give an account of everything that you said, how you have misled people, whether it was intentional or unintentional, whether you thought that you well, to you it made sense that the Bible didn't make sense. It's not an excuse. You are going to be judged because of this. My suggestion, not so much to him, but those that will that are listening, ignore these sort of things. Do you, you're going to hear more and more. There's going to be more and more of this stuff coming out where they're going to attack the gospel, going to attack the Bible. Again, that's what Satan's job is. That's what his plan is. He's doing his job. Let's let's give let's give Satan credit. He is doing his job from day one. He's been on his job, and he's been working overtime. And just like when we saw him with in the garden. Telling Eve, did God really did God really say this? And that's not what it meant. And what is he saying? That's not what. Listen, you guys are, are misunderstanding this stuff. Same thing with Jesus. If he would do the same thing with Eve and the same thing with Jesus, well then guess what? Now it didn't work with Jesus, but you can best believe that he's going to try to do the same thing with us. And he has been trying to trying to distort the word or get us to say, well, no, that's not quite what it means. And the Bible is just pretty clear, pretty obvious. But there are some folks who having ears don't hear. This is one person. And so as you see, not necessarily him, but other people, and it'll be masked in other ways. It might not be in this sort of, um, I don't know if there's some sort of uh, black African atheist. I'm not sure what it is, some, whether it's in new ageism, whether it's something that's hyper, hyper, hyper charismatic, whether it's something that is just uh, of another religion, what have you, who knows? Reject it because all these different philosophies, all these different wisdoms, that are coming from the God of this world, they're going to come at you more and more towards you, towards your children, but be on guard. Amen. Mm -hmm.